And I have thought about those for 10 years. Biggest regret of my marriage. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Peter just went out to the car because yesterday, well, I'll just wait in here for him. Do you need me to help you? He said he thinks he's good. Yesterday, I realized, you know how I said when I was reorganizing my um, medical closet, how I need more shelving in there. So I looked on Marketplace, I found a white shelf for 20 bucks, and I actually drove, when I mean, Peter was with me, but I drove to a new place in a new town to get a $20 white shelf. So we're gonna take this up and get that situated. And I'm excited about it. I think it's gonna be good. Now, I thought the listing said it was two feet from left to right. That looks a little bigger than two feet to me. I guess we're okay good we're about to find out because I have approximately you okay almost fell forward oh dear oh should I put felt on the bottom or you think it's okay uh, no yeah Oh, I probably need to move that red clear bin. Let's see. This was another yeah. marketplace purchase. I think that was 10, $10 maybe. Awesome. Great. Thank you, kind sir. Uh, oh, here they are. Okay, I guess that one goes to the top. Cool. Now I can put my IVIG stuff up there, and then I'll be ready. I can put my headache bin on there, extra all trace, all the things, wonderful. This morning, Peter said to me, I think there might be some yard sales. He knows, the key to my Saturday morning heart. So I just finished my best and mist. My lungs are slightly Thanksgiving morning-y, but I do not care. I did my inhalers, we're heading out. We're gonna go find some yard sales. By Thanksgiving morning, you mean like not fully awake and breathing? Not breathing 100. as as easily. Yeah. <laughs> but it'll, it'll it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I have a lot of fond memories. My dad and I used to go on Saturday mornings often. I don't know how often, but often enough that I have a lot of memories. Just don't mind me. Just spilling coffee over here. Okay. We used to bring the classified ads from the newspaper. Oh, yeah. I remember that, too. Yeah. And like, you know, the people would put the yard sales in the newspaper. That is so weird. Yep. And, I mean, I would like to say that in the last 20 or 30 years, it's come a long way, and now there's this easy way to access them online, but we looked online and couldn't find any, so now we're just driving around looking for signs so I kind of feel like we went back in time because a newspaper would actually be helpful right about now but um, we're actually going we have another errand to run so we thought we're gonna go pick up what we need to pick up and maybe we will see some more yard sales we'll see we I did go to a couple the way that it actually works is we drive to the yard sale Peter sits in the car and I go to the yard sale I'm not being anti like yard sale or anything that sounds like I'm being rude but You're not. Mary has a lot more fun than I do so we just realized mm, you just go check out the yard sale and the fact that you brought it up today and you were like I was looking for yard sales online that 
was like so super supportive mm -hmm. and I wasn't gonna bring it up so it just worked itself out. I knew it would bring you a lot of joy. Should we talk about the tiny glass jars? No, 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 no. <laughs> In the first like three months of our marriage, we went to a yard sale and there were these teeny tiny glass jars. I know we've talked about it before, but um, I was like, oh, maybe I should ask how much these are. It was like a set of little different colored glass jars, like this big. And I will never unsee them in my head. Anyway, he was like, nah, let's just go. And I have thought about those for 10 years. Biggest regret of my marriage. <laughs> didn't buy those tiny glass jars. I have acquired a few of them over the years. Although in my head, the ones from the yard sale were even smaller than the ones I have now, but who knows? Things change in your brain, right? In your memories. It's such a nice day. Mary opened the windows, get some fresh air in the house. We're gonna make some grilled cheese for lunch. What? What's that face for? <laughs> <laughs> Stank your face. I'm hungry. You're hungry. She asked me to make the grilled cheese and I was working on video editing and so I'm probably late to the party. Is that what the face is about? I think I got a camera in my face. <laughs> Little life hack for you. We tend to not get through a loaf of bread before it gets stale. So Mary's been buying the sourdough loaf from Aldi and we put some of it in the freezer right when we get it and then we pull it out and use the frozen bread for grilled cheese and it makes a perfect grilled cheese sandwich the bread kind of defrosts as it cooks and just makes what we think is a perfect grilled cheese sandwich so frozen bread who knew there we go lunch is served I needed to do a little cleaning up on this flower. Wow, you did good. It looks, it looks gorgeous, darling. Gorgeous. Thank you. Thanks for the food. I'm a bit hangry. She is hangry. Mm. Let me tell you. Saturday afternoon, sunshine and snuggles. I put up the hammock and it is. I laid in it for a minute and I like, I almost fell asleep. It's so relaxing. <laughs> I just finished up some video editing for tomorrow's video and Mary told me she has dinner all ready to be grilled, which I was pretty excited about. It's like, I don't know, sitting in that hammock today, it's... Summer vibe! Summer vibe Ooh. slash... <gasps> we can eat coleslaw too. Coleslaw, we love coleslaw. Um, it's like cool oh, though. Corn. Corn and coleslaw and all the things. We have corn on the cob. These are exciting things. Mary's got barbecue chicken and some cut veggies and pineapple and potatoes. We're gonna grill it all up. And we are going to go out to my other grilling area, which, okay. I have our gas scale grill out here. It's heating up. Um, usually I use the smoker for everything but it doesn't get up uh past 400 mine doesn't uh some go hotter but um so when i really want to like cook something at higher temperatures i keep the gas grill around for that so this baby's heating up we're gonna grill out here i have a vision to um make a flat area here. This is a friend's fire pit that's here. Um, it's not mine, but to make this into a flat area, it's kind of like a circle around here. And my idea is like have the grill out here and then make a little patio with some pavers and then have a fire pit. And you could sit around the fire pit under the trees. 
that's my idea. I don't know if or when I'll ever bring that to fruition, but you know. Oh yeah, and my mom brought us a hydrangea and we planted it here. And uh, hopefully, well eventually, we're gonna have this walkway go from the deck to that back gate. And then this will be kind of a dead space where I'm not gonna grow grass. And so uh, this will kind of help fill that space. Mixing it up today. Oh, oh, I love it when Ollie sits like that. It's so funny and cute. Hey, funny. Tongs. We are using the old gas grill. I told him about it. Oh, my bad. I already showed him. Well, we didn't show him the. Wow, that is heavy. Food. Corn in that tin foil. Onions, potatoes, zucchini, all the things. Whew. Una mas. Should we put it in there? Oh, yeah. I'm getting the artsy grill shots. Yeah. This is truly a feast. Wow. Feast of the Ages. There we go. Onions, zucchini, potatoes, coleslaw, cantaloupe, chicken, corn, pineapple. Mm. Thank you, babe. Thank you. Something that's been really fun for Mary and I during this season of life is that we're part of a church plant here in Durham and every Saturday night or Sunday morning, we load up the car with all the stuff from the church because our church is portable at this point and we meet in a park pavilion uh, due to COVID and being able to spread out outdoors and we don't have a building. So it's, uh, it's a fun little, we load up the car, we keep all the stuff in our garage because we have the space and we have the time to load it up and get it set up on Sunday morning. So we're gonna load up for tomorrow. six minutes. Really? Yeah. yeah it's, it's pretty fast. It's been fun that Mary sings on Sunday mornings. Um, and that I'm able to like load this up with you. Yeah. It's it's a fun season that we've been able to do this together because yeah. for the years that I was pastoring set up for Sundays was hard because yeah. you know I was torn between home and church and um, Mary would sometimes be able to help and then it would exhaust her and I'm and those were some of our sweetest times like yeah. setting up before Easter and we were there late at night and like we had such a good time together but yeah it really really exhausted my body but yeah. we celebrate being able to do it together now with more ease so. and as always. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night, you guys. Good night. <laughs>